So I'm here with the ape wife who has something to say about Lou. Okay, shoot. All right, so I just want to make it clear that I never watch Lou's videos. Only when Richie wants to show me something, I'll see a Lou video. So in this Lou video, he's talking about his health and all this stuff. And, and I'm thinking to myself, here's a guy who rips apart someone with cancer, with a real serious illness, and he's just going on about, oh, my health and my headaches and this and that. I mean, it just, it makes me, it makes me laugh. I mean, that really takes a certain type of person to really go on about their health and, oh my God, and then they can rip apart people with cancer and with real serious terminal ill illnesses. I mean, I just, it just blows my mind. But you see, the question is, and I, again, <laughs> you could get, you get angry at me, but facts are facts. Listen to me, Jennifer, let me educate you. Well, Lou stole $73,000 from senior citizens, innocent senior citizens. He got locked up for fraud when he was in jail. If you, this is public records because people think I'm making this up. This is public record. Lou was released because he was tortured. He had an early release and the exact terminology was he was tortured in jail. Now, again, I can't prove it. It's alleged. But I think that his health problems are a direct connection to banging, you know, banging his his head against a wall, banging his behind, you know, like literally torturing him. OK, and and now a couple of the blood vessels popped in his brain and he's got to take all types of medication, all types of testing. But the thing is, here's another thing. He saw the devil, the red woman, you know, devil with the red dress on. Okay. And instead of him maybe relieving some of that tension, maybe unwinding, relieving the stress in his head, Lou turns the devil down. Lou's like, are you kidding? He was talking in Spanish. Are you kidding? You want me? You want me? So the thing is, apparently Lou prefers the banging. He prefers Tyrone and Jamal's banging. Now I know Jennifer's probably not going to want to comment on any of that, but Jen, no, I'm not. I'm, I'm not. No, but I want to ask your opinion I'm on not this. I'm going to go there with that. I yeah, don't, but I don't just can I ask your that. opinion, please? Listen, to me. we yeah. haven't seen Lou with a woman in like over a year. This is the first woman he runs away from her, and his excuse is that he has to do a live stream. I mean, it's just tell me your opinion. That's all I'm saying. I, I really. I really don't even have to say anything. I mean, that just says everything for He's itself. gay. He's gay boy. I don't Look, care what he does. He's gay boy. But my problem is, is that, you know, people have health problems and that's horrible. But how, how can you rip apart other people with health problems? And you because you're not relevant. Your I, he's relevant. He's not See, relevant. See, Lou, Lou is a narcissist. I would never. Well. That's a whole other story. Lou only can't listen. To me. Everything about Lou, and that's that's fine. Is, a, is only about Lou. He cares only. See, this I don't is what want Lou to care about. But he doesn't care about nobody or anybody else with cancer. But it's just like, how can you rip somebody apart with a serious? Because you're not relevant when they have health problems of their own. I mean, because it's just listen to me, honey. Just, I don't want to interrupt you because people are gonna get mad at me. <laughs> listen. To me. You're not relevant. In other words, he That's, doesn't care about you. I don't he has, want just, him to care about Can you about please me. let me finish? He doesn't care about me. He doesn't care about all the eight. Like, hey, let, 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 me make, let me make a further. It's a further. Just, it's just Jennifer, please let me say decency. this. Please let me say this. I love you. Lou put out videos. Check this out. AMC Suicide Hotline. <laughs> no, just listen to me. I want That's you to horrible. understand this. That's no, but horrible. I just want you to understand this. Now, this is a guy, guy who's been telling everybody that... AMC is wrapping up every day. Like, in other words, that's it. We won. He claimed victory. They can't beat us. We're, we're all going to be partying in Vegas. It's wrapping up, wrapping up, wrapping up, wrapping up, wrapping up, wrapping up, wrapping up for a whole year and a half, right? Now, Lou, I don't know if you know this, is completely against AMC. Okay, now his whole thing is GTII. And he's going to grow a beard, okay, apparently like Santa Claus, like, you know, like Grizzly Adams, until GTI hits 100. Now, here's the connection. Obviously, Lou doesn't care about anybody at AMC. I mean, that's it. He just walked away from the AMC community, 
Okay, he throws it in once in a while, but for his own benefit. It's for his own benefit just to get views because he's losing subscriptions. His views are not the same like they were before. His live streams are not the same, okay, like they were before. He's losing his credibility. If not, that he completely lost it. But now here's the thing that really got me angry, and I want your opinion on this. So a guy calls up, apparently Lou, or emails Lou, who's uh, optioning committing suicide, okay? And then Lou comes across like like this caring guy. You know, he's like, you know, we could all make money again. You know, you know, sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. That's the stock market. But, you know, don't ever, you know, you know try to commit suicide. But yet he's ridiculing all the AMC apes. He's saying su suicide hot, hot line, laughing out. He did the same thing with Clove. He did the same thing. He said that Clove... Clover was going to go to a hundred, oh, no, I'm sorry, five hundred dollars a share, and then when everybody held it because of him, they all bag were bag holders. They all lost a ton of money. Lou was laughing at them. He's doing the same thing with AMC. So now and then he tries to come across like he cares. Like and this whole GTII, by the way, is another clove. Just, just I'm not a financial planner. Listen to me. I don't give financial advice. I already called it. He's going to do the same thing with GTII. You understand that he did with Clove. All right, he's going to keep saying GTII is going to go to 100. It's never going to happen. And then when GTII ultimately falls to under a dollar again, which in my opinion it will, Lou's going to go back to that whole thing. You didn't sell? You didn't sell GTII when it was like $6 a share? What's the matter with you? You that That's on you. That's not on Lou. That's what he's going to do. So what's your opinion on that? <laughs> I, I really I honestly don't even have an opinion because that's just so bizarre. He only cares about himself. Don't you say? In other words, it's, he doesn't a, care it's, about it's, anybody else. That's what yeah, I'm trying you know, to you get at. Stick to to one thing. You know, you can't be all over the place. Either you care or you don't care. Don't try to pretend. Right. Well, a person who puts out a video, AMC suicide hotline. Yeah, I mean that's really bad. after people are down. Like I'm down a lot of money. I'm down a lot of money. There are people down a lot of money right now, Lou. And, and you can't be making... And then he wants you know, to make all these jokes about it. Then you want to come across like you're this great guy. Like, oh, don't commit suicide. Did you ever think oh that people are, are optioning committing suicide because of you? Oh, my God. Like, that's the reason. Listen to me. That's the reason why they're at this point. Because they've been listening to you. Now, I just want to say, no matter how bad life gets... Okay, suicide should never be an option. It's a very, very selfish act. Okay, you have family that need you, you have family that love you, and you have to be a fighter in this world. You have to be strong. You can't ever get to that level because your family and your loved ones need you. But Lou is trying to come across like he cares. No, Lou, you've been pocketing AMC ad revenue money for over a year and a half now, like, right? You're making all this money, predicting AMC is going to squeeze, Moaz, wrapping up, March 3rd, uh, you know, all these things he came up with. Elon Musk selling his shares is going to cause a Moaz, AMC Moaz. Uh, Evergrande default going to cause the Moaz. Ukraine tension going to cause the Moaz. Higher interest rates going to cause the Moaz. Inflation is going to cause the Moaz, right? Everything, everything's going to cause the Moaz. Nothing caused the Boaz. Now he wants to direct and put all the blame onto Adam Aaron with Ape. Okay, so it's his fault. He destroyed the play. There's a lot of people who feel otherwise. I have to, and I'm not saying to him I'm a fan of Adam Aaron, but I'm just saying there's a lot of people who feel Adam Aaron is got the shorts, co uh, you know, cornered. They got the shorts cornered, and that when Ape runs. Okay, it's going to knock out all the debt of AMC. And you know what? It's going to cause the most. So there's a lot of people who think this is this could happen all, very soon, by the way. This could happen very soon, either in, you know, in like the beginning of November here. Okay, you know, we got the midterms coming up and everything like that. And a lot of people are feeling very confident about AMC and the Boas. Now, I'm not making any predictions, but I'm just telling you this. I'm still with you. The ape wipe is, is still with you. The ape family is still with you. We are true blue apes. We are That's true right. blue AMC apes. You Lou, tell him, ape father. Lou isn't. Lou only cares about the glue. And you know from who? Tyrone and Jamal never makes Lou's balls blue. Not a financial advisor. I don't give financial advice. I'm an entertainer. <laughs>